back then I just had Whoa, whoa, whoa Yeah, let's have sex in the bank Telling her open a safe I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what's Hello, welcome back to another video, period Such an today's video is just basically going to be like different hygiene tips that i feel like have been very useful and helpful i definitely can put the girls on to some things okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you can know when i post period so first up we have oral hygiene girl let me just tell y'all what made me think to even do this video so I'm at the bar with my girls and you know, I'm a little short, I'm only five feet tall. So usually when dudes talk to me, they be having to bend down. A few dudes walked up to me trying to step down. You know, I was looking real good, looking real cute. Why do I smell their breath? Like, I don't understand that. And I don't understand how people are not like self-aware. I'm constantly like, <laughs> like I'm always on point. So I don't understand how you don't like, why is your breath smelling like with this? As soon as you open your mouth, you know on SpongeBob when that green, that like when something stank that green, it was like right into my nostrils. I'm like, oh my gosh. One thing I feel like people always overlook when it comes to oral hygiene is flossing. Y'all, when I tell you, I feel like it's something that people don't do every day. That's literally food rotting in that back tooth. That back tooth that you keep putting goals over. Yeah, her, yeah. I don't put somebody on some flossing or just like try to convince them like, hey, like, and they literally told me when they finally did floss, y'all, they said the floss was stank. That's food from how long ago, trapped in between your teeth. And a person like me, my teeth are really close together. I get stuff stuck between my teeth all the time, y'all. But you got gaps in every single tooth, make sure you use, use some floss. This is what I use. Floss is floss. I just got this because it's pink, baby. Another thing is Listerine and a tongue scraper. Yes, ma'am. This is what it's looking like, y'all. I honestly thought it was going to be bigger, but it does the job just fine. Those are disposable. I got those from Target, y'all. If you watch my Come Hygiene Shopping With Me video, what you need to be doing. I'm pretty sure you can reuse them. They're pretty small. Some people use the ones off Amazon that are like, like metal i think you just wash it off and reuse it i used to really be like calling people dirty saying everybody breath stain people worry about this and that but they breast me like donkey kong the whole time y'all that tongue scraper took so much stuff off of my tongue y'all like i was actually appalled i kind of knew that the toothbrush wasn't like getting everything off it make a difference y'all i go all day unless i eat something super garlicky or like something that has a really strong smell or a strong taste i don't have the problem of like bad breath throughout the day when you start using listerine your breath don't stink all day i feel like by the end of the day when i wasn't using listerine when i wasn't using a tongue scraper my breath would get a little tart by the end of the day i started bringing listerine in my car with me in my bag with me at work y'all when i forget to use listerine i damn near want to turn the car back around and be late to work. This is what I use. This one don't really burn. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I used to be a person like, if the Listerine don't burn, it don't work. Yeah, I'm freezing right now. Let me get comfortable. Okay y'all, we in the game. You would think brushing your tongue and using Listerine is enough, but it's not y'all. That tongue scraper, your tongue, like you can actually feel the texture in your tongue, bro. You don't have no food, like a food barrier between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And if you think you don't need it, lick the top of your hand with the middle of your tongue and let it dry and smell it and see what it's time at. If that thing funky, this is what you need to be having. This is what you need to be using. And mostly when you be outside, you do not want to be in a man's face smelling like something crawled in your mouth and died in that back too. No ma'am. There's no reason your sneeze should be stank. Like when no sneeze go in the air, I shouldn't smell it. Like that's crazy to me. Next up is the shower. We all know how to bathe, I hope. When it comes to like body washes and bar, I'm a bar soap girl, mainly y'all. That's what I grew up on. I personally, have sensitive skin down there. I was like apprehensive about using the tree hut exfoliator on my private area. I was scared to use the native because the native that I have, very perfumey. Like I was just scared to mess up anything, have anything not smelling like it's supposed to be smelling or just like making the skin irritated y'all. But you really have to find what works for you. This is what I use for my private area y'all. This is a bar soap. This is the Dove sensitive skin. This is what I be using because I've always used like bar soaps so they've never gave me no problems y'all you really got to be careful with what you use down there i ain't gonna lie i get pretty influenced when i be on tiktok that's what made me buy this native that's what made me buy that eos lotion you really have to be careful because she might not have sensitive skin she might be able to use 
whatever xyz and it don't throw up her ph balance you'll be walking around here smelling like the red tide just be careful baby another thing is exfoliating y'all i exfoliate two to three times a week y'all when i tell you like it makes such a difference mostly if you have hyperpigmentation which a lot of us black girls do because i feel like growing up we used to be using them razors some people use nair but i feel like that actually irritates my skin y'all this is what i use i got it from walmart y'all it got the thing for your hand you can put that work in i also have the tree hut coco colada and this scrub it up this scrub it up like when i tell you i got this off of amazon not walmart because i feel like walmart had so much stuff that was scented I was trying to find something for my private area. So I didn't want nothing like that got all that perfume in it. As long as it do the job, it don't have to have a smell for me. This is literally like coconut oil and sea salt. This can be very rough. So you have to be careful with it. It even get hard. Like you have to break it up. When I tell you this will exfoliate, she does her big one. It's very rough. It's rougher than a tree hut. And I will say tree hut really surprised me because I've had some products that I felt like was not rough enough. Obviously, you don't want nothing that's going to be cutting your skin. But I wanted something that was like really going to get in there. She surprised me. I like to keep my private area either bald or shaved down. I'm not one of them people who going to swear up and down in my pocketbook giving this all the time. It ain't, baby. I work a full-time job. Let's just be real. And don't be up here lying talking about you ain't got no piece of hand your right now you got a little piece of hair you got a little boost fade don't even do all that and don't even come over here judging obviously i feel like you can exfoliate better and you can get to your skin better mostly with something like this when your hair is low it don't have to be bald but i like to keep her trimmed at least sometimes i dry exfoliate before i get in the shower if you get waxes y'all waxing yeah exfoliating is gonna be a game changer i don't know if y'all ever had a wax when i tell y'all i thought my coochie lip was on that wax strip when she threw it in the garbage can i was crawling off the table when i tell you it was like i was in so much pain y'all but that's because i wasn't exfoliating i went another time it was still painful like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie and be like uh no baby it still was giving jesus take the wheel but you could feel the difference y'all try to invest in waxing you don't think about it too much until you want to go put on that bikini or tea with your man then you looking down like can't no foundation or concealer cover that make sure you exfoliate in two to three times a week y'all if you can't take it and you notice that your skin feeling real tender or something going wrong do it once a week but make sure you're exfoliating waxing y'all I ain't no vet now. I only got a few, but the, it lasts so long. I would say it's worth the pain. I ain't gonna lie. It caught me off guard when she ripped my soul out of my body. But when it's done, y'all, I don't know how they say when you have a baby, you forget about all the pain when you had a baby in your arms. When you looking at that cootie cat in the mirror, baby, you better forgot all about that. I ain't forget. I remember. That shit hurt. But I'm just saying, in between waxing, this is what I use. You can bring this anywhere. I bring this to my purse. I've been in situations where I thought my armpits was more shaved down than it was and I done went out. Hey, 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 in the club and giving I got a whole bundle up under my arm. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go right in the bathroom and get her together immediately. I got it from Dollar General. It was literally like maybe eight dollars at the most, y'all. I've been using that for years. Private area armpits. I'm a black girl. I feel like when your hair is curly, you're you're gonna get ingrown hair. Y'all. I definitely had my share of ingrown hairs, mostly when I was younger trying to shave, you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that will make you so insecure. You wear your bikini and you look like a Dalmatian. Like, no, like, we all had an ingrown before. It really bring down your confidence. So, in my opinion, leave them razors alone. Leave them razors alone. I use them on my legs. I'm a hairy girl. I have to get in there. But I have to leave her alone when it comes to the private area. It don't matter if I have a new razor. It don't matter what brand it is. I'm gonna break out. It might not be the worst breakout ever, but I'm, I always get at least one ingrown, y'all. And that's another dark mark. I don't have time for that. For my girls that have like discoloration and you be getting them hair bumps, it's called Tend Skin, T-E-N-D Skin. I will link it on Amazon. It's a little bit pricey, but if you insecure enough, you'll buy it. Like me, baby, you'll buy it. This is very watery and it has a very strong smell, but who cares? It's gonna get rid of your, your dark marks. Your ingrown hairs is gonna be damn near gone. You post use it after you shave. I use my clothes shaver a lot of the time and I use it after waxing. Shave that hair down and put that on there, baby. Your skin gonna be peeling. It's gonna be flaking off. You gonna shit, you gonna be a new bitch. Don't let it run everywhere and don't put so much. I was putting like a little bit of Vaseline on my inner thigh because I feel like that's what made my inner thigh get a little bit darker than my skin tone, y'all. And my thighs rub together. So I had to be careful with that. Be careful. But when I tell you it works, y'all, stay consistent. It don't take long to put it on. Squirt some of your hands, slap it on the pocketbook. Let it dry and lay it down, y'all. I ended up having a situation to where I ended up breaking out down there. And when I tell you this was a lifesaver, like, and when I say pricey, like, it's not like $40 or nothing. 
it's like 20 it's like 19 dollars, y'all also for men who have like beards or a lot of men when they shave their beards they have bumps all under there when i tell you she gonna get you right i put my brother on these i wouldn't steal you wrong friend i wouldn't steal you wrong also this year i just recently got into like detoxing my armpits y'all pan oxo pan oxo will do the job y'all i'm pretty rough i like a rough rag some people use loofahs and stuff also if you're using a loofah make sure you switch that stuff out y'all i feel like you get so caught up in just going in the shower hanging it back up no maybe every month i don't use loofahs y'all i use a wash rag and i like a really rough cheap wash rag i don't need nothing that's all smooth like feeling like this no man i need a brillo pad i like to really get in there i was having a problem to wear the deodorant i use is very strong if you anything like me pick her up because one thing about me i'm not gonna say i'm like sweating like a man all the time but i get anxious i don't play basketball i don't run track y'all i be at work shower and residence picking people up i'm not the muskiest girl in the world but i have to make sure that i'm on point because i used to have my times in elementary school rushing out the door with my big old book bag and then I'm smelling something and it's me. And I don't got time for that, y'all. I'm really, I'm really scarred. Like, <laughs> but for some reason when I was bathing, this might sound crazy, y'all, and don't judge. But I would literally like dig my nails, like after I get out the shower, before I dry off, I would dig my nails under my armpit and see if I could smell deodorant. And sometimes I feel like maybe it was in my head, but I was like, how can I get this deodorant smell like off of me? Because at nighttime, I like to give my armpits a break. I don't wear deodorant at nighttime if I'm just in bed. Panoxo under that armpit with this going in. I do the same thing for my private area. Same thing, Panoxo, this, and I would detox my area. I like to also do my inner thighs. My thighs rub together and I was noticing it was getting a little bit darker. It probably wasn't noticeable, but for me, I obsess over the littlest like of imperfections. Another thing I've learned, make sure y'all changing them pads and tampons every four hours, if not even more often. Some of us have a heavy flow, mostly with pads, you're sitting in a bloody pad all day. You at work, you doing whatever, and you haven't changed it all day. No, ma'am. The one thing I've started doing, I got this off Amazon. It's really wound spray. It removes bacteria. I use this when I'm on my period because me personally, I feel disgusting on my period. When I'm at work, a few hours in, I be feeling like I just want to take a shower. Between changes, I will spray some of that. And I have wet wipes. Keep wet wipes on deck, not even just for when your period is on. If I had some poop up right here, would I just get a piece of tissue and wipe it? No, ma'am. I would get something that I know is cleansing that area. This is from Amazon as well. Also, stop sleeping in that tampon. Get you a pad that got long wings that go up your behind. Because I know we done all had it happen before when we sleep in the bed and we get up in the morning and then... Mostly, if you're a person that's not getting up to change that, that tampon, toxic shock syndrome is real, y'all. You don't want to be the person on the commercials being an advocate. And it don't have to be that. It could be any peri spray. Some people use witch hazel. Witch hazel is very affordable. Get you a little spray bottle and put it to use. If you're anything like me, I be feeling nasty on my period. It make you feel so fresh, almost like you just took a shower, y'all. And y'all know, the best shower is when you be on your period and you put on that new pad or that new tampon, be feeling like a new woman. Stop letting that pad get sour. Why your pad sour? Why would I go in the bathroom after you, I could smell your ass? What is that about? Honestly, y'all, if you are having a problem, we done all had a yeast infection before and don't lie. Not me. Yes, she did. We done all had our little problems, our little hiccups. Some people get sweaty, whatever. Like some people have demanding jobs. Some people play sports. If your vagina is smelling fishy, go to the doctor period and when i was younger y'all i used to be scared like even just to get my little checkup or whatever i used to be so nervous y'all them people see a hundred coochies a day they is not worried about your little pocketbook calm down stop overthinking it they gonna give you a pill and baby all your worries is gonna be washed away and if it come back leave that lady husband alone that's why you funky like that y'all y'all swapping juices i'm just saying don't shoot the messenger and put down that fanta orange soda like i'm telling y'all water is really the key people always be like oh water water but it's the reason you're just pumping yourself with sugar when you drink soda, I feel like we don't really be paying attention to how much sugar is in soda. Or when somebody be like, I haven't ate no sweets today. Sugar is in everything. Pasta, anything that we eat, nine times out of 10 is gonna be, it's gonna be sugar in it somewhere, y'all. Water is the key. When it comes to skin, your, how your private area smells, you gotta flush yourself out, baby. I love a good grape soda. I love a good tall glass of Kool-Aid, but sometimes you gotta know when to say no. Your urine should not be giving fanta orange soda. Why is your pee orange? 
Ask yourself that. Why are you not drinking water, Tony? What's wrong? And people be like, water nasty. Now, I don't know. I, I found water to be very enjoyable. So, I guess if, if you, that person, I'm pretty sure it can be hard for you. But think about your pocketbook. Like, y'all should be like this. Y'all should be locked in. Some girls do the boric acid. I know a lot of girls say when their period goes off that they feel like they smell a little different or like they not on, like they, eh, but they, eh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm, like, mm, like it ain't really, something ain't, something ain't right. I don't use the boric acid anymore. I have used it before. Heads up, you put that in before you lay down, you wake up, waterfall. Be, be prepared. It really flushes you out and don't use it too much. And you should not be having to like, Use nothing that much. Make an appointment. You get it checked out and put them, put your legs on that thing and let that lady look up in her. Now, y'all, I like it smell good. I know I don't use perfume, soap on a hoo-ha, but she is the truth. This is the Candy Shop Strawberry and Vanilla Taffy. Yes, ma'am. I use that on the other parts of my body because for me personally, I don't know, I thought Native was overhyped. Sometimes I used to feel like certain body washes was just for like, one would be for cleansing and one would be for like, the smell good. It hit all of my checkpoints, y'all. It cleanses your skin and it smells so good. Like, literally, it smells so sweet. My brother was using it. I had to take it out of the shower. Like, it's not safe out here with Native. It's not safe out here. It turned your family, the closest ones to you, against you. You have to smell it for yourself, y'all. You gonna think I'm exaggerating, but I'm really not. But I use that on the rest of my body, y'all. It don't strip your body. Like, I use the Neutrogena Bar Soap sometimes on my body, and I'm not gonna lie, you have to go in with moisturizer afterwards. I do that anyway, but it's like you have to. Your skin be so dry, y'all. It, like, it strips everything. Have you all ashy? Like, no, ma'am. We already know about her. She's actually the truth, y'all. And I use Suave. It feel like it's hydrating my skin. But an hour later, I feel like my hands are still feeling dry. My feet are still feeling dry. And I feel like it don't really, like really moisturize your skin it's like surface level my personal opinion this does really well and what i use with suave or things that i feel like ain't really doing with it like it's doing what it need to do but it got tired halfway i use some baby oil put some lotion in my hand squirt some baby oil i'm moisturized to the next morning i done bought a big bottle of lotion trying some new stuff oh let me try this let me try that y'all see how high everything is now we're getting into skin y'all i recently just had like one of the worst breakouts of my life y'all all along here I don't know how it just disappeared like that because that's how my skin do. She like to show out and then she just disappeared, which I ain't questioning her. Do you? I do get a little like mixed up. If I show y'all all of my skincare products that I have, I have it in a big tote and it's overflowing. I go get my check and I go to Walmart, Target or whatever. I'm always buying something. I'm always ordering something late at night when I'm supposed to be sleeping. Online stores, they really getting their coin. I think I'm paying Amazon bills. They probably know my name, maybe like... The way I just be, submit order, submit order, submit order. I ended up having so many products, y'all, and I was trying to, like, put everything to use. And I feel like I was using so much stuff, y'all. I was using my acne cream. I was using my moisturizer. I was using uh, some oil that I got that looked pretty. So I'm like, oh, it must work because the girls on TikTok said it worked. Now I got five giant pimples under my skin that hurt so bad I can't lay on the side of my face. Y'all, right now, I'm not I'm not, no, I'm not no dermatologist, so I'm not going to give too many tips on the skincare and what you should and shouldn't be using. But I know for a fact you should not be using all them products like I was doing. I feel like lately my pimples have been under my skin. And if you know, you know, that's like the worst, most painful pimple that you can get. Get you a toner. This is Witch Hazel. You don't have to get the Dickinson because the Dickinson's is a little bit more expensive. You can get that regular great value Witch Hazel. In my opinion, Witch Hazel, I don't see no difference between when I buy this one. This bottle just cuter, okay? And I had a little bit of coin that day, so I was doing, I was showing up. I thought I was Beyonce. I was telling people to keep their change, doing too much. But get you a toner, y'all. I done, like I said, I be using that Neutrogena Bar Soap, which I initially bought for my face, y'all. But that junk will strip you out so bad. And you'll be feeling like, it's no way I still got dirt in my skin. Get you a white cotton pad, some cotton balls, some cotton rounds. You will really see, like, so much dirt come off of your face, y'all. Toner really gets deep down in there. Toner is not nothing that I can negotiate. Like, oh, I'm not gonna buy none of this check, or I'm gonna wait. No, you have to. Like, I be feeling dirty. It's almost how I was saying when I was brushing my teeth and brushing my tongue, but that tongue scraper just did the job. Yeah, this is that. I'm using two facial cleansers. Cleanse my face. Take a shower, get out the shower, and I use witch hazel and moisturizer. That's literally it. I just had to cut out everything. I couldn't figure. When you use so many different products, you cannot figure out what's making you break out. Because you're using her stuff. That man said this work. Oh, get your a chemical pill, dude. No. I was already a person that drank water all the time. But I feel like I really had to like cut back on anything that was not water. 
what I was doing was I would take a shot of soda just to get that. Because the one thing about me, I would pour a big old cup of grape soda. Moving along, wash that pillowcase. And for my black girls, wash that bonnet. That bonnet smells like blue magic. I used to put a lot of products on my hair. I stopped doing all that. But I used to put a lot of products in my hair. Now you, the product's still wet in your hair. You didn't put that bonnet on. You laying on your pillow, rolling over, it's all over your face. And you sleeping like that all night. Now you wonder why you breaking up, why you got all these white heads. Why your bonnet sour, twin? I done heard people have to switch up the detergent they're using because it's too strong and it's breaking them out. Or people getting rashes on their skin, y'all. Me personally, I use a wash rag and a drying towel. Wash wash that wash rag and that dry towel you know what it causes body acne i do mine once a week some people do theirs more often i'm not that extra i'm not that dramatic and i'm not that dirty over time over all them days you might be like oh i'm clean i'm, I'm drying off with it after i get out the shower baby anything it, it don't matter how clean you think something is things accumulate try to wash your covers your pillowcases and your wash rags or your drying towels at least once a week, boo. It's no reason your drying towel should be sour. Wash that thing. It don't take long. Quick little one, two. Lastly, get you a good face mask. I do it at least once a week. This is the one that I use, y'all. I got it off Amazon. This is the vitamin C face mask with turmeric. I put this on my face. I put this on my private area. It really helps with discoloration. It comes with this little brush. It, I got dried up face masks all over it. Disgusting, I know. Get you a good face mask, y'all. This is really gentle. I feel like you can use this more than two, three times a week. When I get off work, I ain't gonna lie, baby. I just wanna hit that water. I don't be in the mood for all that extra stuff. But you have to like really take that time out, y'all. Because I was like, oh, pimple ain't never hurt me. But it did last week. It, she showed out. She definitely, it brightened your skin and it really get deep down in there. In combination, we'll be cutting out all them extra products and all them drip drop serums. I was cleansing with two products, toner and moisturizing. And twice a week, I was using that face mask. I done had this for so long, y'all. I think I done had it for maybe like, maybe like eight months, y'all. Granted, I don't be consistent. Like, I don't be going months and months without using it, but sometimes I miss a week, or I might use it once a week instead of twice a week. It lasts a really long time, and if you have sensitive skin, it don't tingle, it don't burn, y'all. It don't got a strong smell. It don't smell like perfume. It smell like oranges, y'all. I really feel like the key to good skin is keeping your routine simple. Look at these men. These men have beautiful skin, y'all, and we be having a serum or this or that. Like, keep it cute, keep it simple, y'all. But that will be the end of today's video. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all got any tips for me, don't be scared to comment them down below. I will see you guys next week. Bye.